Welcome to another video. Let's take this very nice algebraic exercise because what we have is we have this expression x plus 1 over x being an integer and x is a real number. We're supposed to show that this other expression is also an integer. Now when you get a problem like this you want to know that all you have to do is use what you have to get what you want. So we'll have to rewrite this expression in terms of x plus 1 over x maybe many times, okay? And once you do that, you'll be able to show that this also is an integer for all real numbers. Well, by the way, we know that x cannot be 0 because we can't have 0 in the denominator of a rational expression. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a close look at the expression I have here. It's x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x to the negative two. So that tells me that x to the negative two, which is one over x squared, will have to be paired up with this. And this will pair up with this. And this will, oh, this is negative four. And this is going to pair up with this one. So we can rewrite the expression like this. We want to show that x to the, let's start with the middle part, x squared plus 1 over x squared plus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth is an integer. If x plus 1 over x is also an integer. See, this is a this is a, a, a good tool for you if you're doing any uh, competition problem or the Olympiad problems. This usually shows up. Okay, you want to know that this happens. Now, now what should we do from here? Well, we'll have to take each of these combinations and simplify them or write them in terms of x plus one over x. So, let's begin. Let x plus 1 over x be equal to n, where n is some integer. n is an integer. Okay? So instead of writing x plus 1 over x multiple times, we're just going to write it, we'll just write it as n. Okay? Just write it as n. So let's take this first expression. Is there a way we can get x squared plus 1 over x squared from this expression? The easiest thing is to square this. If we square this, we might be able to get something like this there. So let's begin. We have note or notice. That's what we say. <laughs> we say that x plus 1 over x times x plus 1 over x will be equal to, if we multiply these two, we have x squared. We multiply this by this, we get 1. You multiply these two, you get 1. And you multiply these two, you get 1 over x squared. Now remember, we said let this be equal to n. So this is basically n times n. So I can say this is n squared is equal to, if I put these two together, I have x squared plus 1 over x squared and this is plus 2. So if I want to isolate this, I can say that x squared plus 1 over x squared equals n squared minus 2. Now, what do you notice about this expression? Remember, n is an integer. The square of an integer is always an integer. Now, 2 is an integer. The difference between two integers is always an integer, right? So we, can, we have clearly shown that this is an integer. We're done. No, we're not done. <laughs> we're done with the first part. Okay, so let's go to the second combination, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Now, how can you get x cubed from this expression? Well, you might as well multiply this by this. 
Okay, so let's do some work. Now, let's notice also, so let's box this actually. Let's just box this. Because you see, at, at the very end, we're, we need to add all of these terms together as the expression demands. We add this to this to this, and we'll see if we're gonna end up with pure integers. So let's see. Um, consider, well, we're gonna have, this times this gives us x cubed, this times this gives us 1 over x. This times this gives us x. And this times this gives us 1 over x cubed. So if you notice that this product gives us, what do we get? We get um, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus x plus 1 over x. And remember, we know that x plus 1 over x is n. So I'm going to go here and replace it with n. And we know this is also n. And we know this is n squared minus 2. So we can say here n, therefore, n times n squared minus 2 equals this x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus this is n. Huh. So therefore, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to n into n squared minus 2 minus n. Nice. If I factor out the n, it's going to give me n into n squared minus 2 minus 1, which is n squared minus 3. Which is also an integer. <laughs> So we got x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is this, and this is an integer. How do I know that this is an integer? Well, it's because the square of an integer is an integer. The difference between two integers is an integer. The product of two integers is an integer. So this expression is an integer. I really don't need to worry about anything coming in the future. So you can show that all of these expressions are actually integers. So the final task is to do for x to the fourth, this one, x to the fourth plus one over x to the fourth. And I can guess by squaring this. So let's try to square this. So we have, let's consider x squared plus one over x squared times x squared plus 1 over x squared. Okay, we do the same thing. Now, there is an alternative way of solving this, which is by factoring, but I might lose a lot of people if I followed the whole factoring thing starting from here, because it's a lot of um, suspended um, manipulations. But this one is algebraic and you can easily see it. So this way, what I have is going to be x to the fourth, this times this, if I multiply this by this, is going to be plus 1. This times this is going to be plus 1. This times this is going to be plus 1 over x to the fourth. We could have just used this analogy here, the same thing we did here to generate this answer, but now you can see it. So this is equal to x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2. Now remember that this is this, n squared minus 2. So we can say that n squared minus 2 squared is the same thing as x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2. So this expression, x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth, is basically n squared minus 2 squared. At this point, it is safe to say that this is an integer because it is the sum of three different integers. This is an integer, this is an integer, and this is an integer. Because addition, multiplication, and subtraction, um, as far as the set of integers is concerned, that is a closed set.
You cannot add or subtract or multiply integers and suddenly get results that are not integers. So that's the beauty of this exercise. So we can say is an integer since it is the sum of three integers. Okay, third integer, first integer, second integer. Leave a comment in the comment section. Like I said, there are other ways of doing this, but I just felt this is more relatable and you can follow it all the way to the end. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.